YouTube is Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video and today I've got something new to show you. Basically if you follow Harrison Neville, he's a fashion model from the US, he basically did a video called Outfit Battles and his outfit battles between Rice Gum and Jake Paul. These are two massive YouTubers who have been beefing it out and he basically showed photos from their Instagram and did a comparison between the two. So I'm going to do my own little twist on this I'm basically going to do an outfit battle between two of the biggest fast growing fashion bloggers in the UK and the US. The first person is the one who created this thing, it is Harrison Neville. Harrison Neville is basically a fashion model from the US. He's got over 100k subscribers now. He basically does like DIYs, outfit challenges, and dress like celebrities for cheaper alternatives. So now coming to his opponent, it is the fastest growing fashion blogger from the UK. It is Unknown Vlogs, aka the Unknown Blasian or Kofu. So what is up guys? I'm the Unknown Blasian. <laughs> Unknown Vlogs, he is a young fashion blogger from London and basically he goes to all the drops such as Supreme, Palace, Velo and etc and basically he films like a line, shows what people get, the pickups and his main one so far has been like the Supreme Louis Vuitton collab. So for this outfit battle I'm basically going to head over to both of their Instagrams and I'm going to show you four different outfits which I believe are quite similar and I'm going to go through the outfit details and I'm going to show which one's better out of the two. And overall, I'm going to choose the overall winner. And this is from my personal opinion, so no haters, because obviously I like both their channels. The channels are both so sick. But anyways, let's get into it. So coming to the Unknown Vlogs first outfit, this is from when his trip, when he went to America to go to LA Sneak Con. For his fit, he's got the Midnight Studios curved hair and t-shirt. He's got a pair of block crop smart pants, and then on the feet, he's got the Vans Skate High in like a black slash navy colorway. I actually really like this outfit, the t-shirt is so so clean, I've been looking to get this for ages but it's sold out everywhere. The only problem I have with this outfit, I don't think the blue on the Vans Get High complements well with this outfit. I would have preferred either a Vans Old School Black Low or a Vans Old School Black High. Now coming from the first outfit from Harrison Neville, this photo was taken after the Supreme X Michael Jackson drop. For the outfit details, he's got a pair of thrifted sunglasses with the platform on the top. He's got the black Supreme X Michael Jackson t-shirt. He's got distressed jeans from Hyper Denim Black with the knee blowouts, and then on the feet he's got the Commodore Garth and X Converse high tops with the red heart on the side, the black ones. So I actually really like this outfit as well. I think the colours combinate perfectly. The all black and just a little subtle red Commodore Garth and heart pops out, and the Michael Jackson tee is just so nice. I tried to cop this, but unfortunately it sold out in seconds. But now comparing the two, this one is going to have to go to Harrison Neville. I think this outfit is just put so well together. The knee blowouts go perfectly. The Supreme X Michael Jackson tee is so nice. The red on the Commodore Garth, and I mean, I may be being a bit biased because I've got these in white. And against obviously Kofu shoes, I didn't really like the Van Skate highs. So I think overall there was nothing to say bad about Harrison Neville's outfit, and obviously there was one thing I can say wrong. So the Unknown Blasian's second outfit is an all black fit with this black and orange scarf. The black and orange scarf is from Misbehave. He actually got this from his 20th birthday from his girlfriend. And the black hoodie, it's got some orange text on the sleeves. I'm not unsure where it's from, but it kind of looks like the style of the Yeezy Calabasas, but obviously it's not because this was brought out in 2016. He's got a black pair of jeans, just plain, no distressed, and then he's got his black Rick Owen boots. The reason I like this, you can't go wrong with an all black outfit, and I just think, obviously, the subtle orange of the the scarf and obviously on the sleeves which pops out perfectly. Another way you could have worn this is let's say a black velo hoodie but obviously you'd have to show it from behind. So coming to Harrison Neville's second outfit I wanted to find something that was kind of a mixture with streetwear a bit smarter seeing as Unknown Blasian's outfit was streetwear but the scarf made it a little bit more smarter. So I found one here from Harrison Neville. He's wearing this beige Harrington jacket from Murder Squad. It's kind of more a streetwear one. For the layering aspect he's wearing this grey kind of speckled fear of god layering t-shirt. On the pants, he's got these packs and zipper pants with the white drawstrings. And then on the feet, he has got the Oxford Tan Yeezy 350 oh, boost. So with this outfit, I think the colours combinate actually really well. The beige of the jacket obviously complements perfectly with the Oxford Tan Yeezys. I would have gone for a white t-shirt. I think this would have gone a bit better. I don't really like the grey complement well with the beige. And with this Harrington kind of jacket, I think it's more of a smarter jacket or a vintage jacket because if you've seen, I've got one with a tartan inner lining. They are known for either like a football casual jacket, a vintage jacket, but I mean, I like the way he's obviously put it well together. But I think personally, this outfit challenge is going to have to go to the other blade because I think his outfit and the colours just complement perfectly. There's nothing bad to say about his outfit at all. So now 
now coming to outfit number three. So for outfit number three for Unknown Blasian, on the top he's got this yellow Edgeta Axe Champion hoodie. The reason that's different is it has been cut off the bottom of the elastic on the sleeves as well as the bottom. Then he's just got a plain pair of black pants, he's got a black word man bag, he's got the black Playstons faces belt and then he's got a pair of I think they're black and white Vans Authentics, I can't really tell, they look a bit customised, I can't really tell on the brand. The reason I like this outfit is first of all the hoodie is so sick, that colour is so nice and the colour blocking in the photo with the lemons. I really like the fit of it because they've obviously cut the cuffs off so it's like a, it's kind of a long sleeve t-shirt kind of style but it's a hoodie. Then he's got the black pants, I mean the places and faces belt just stands out perfectly, it goes, the black and white goes with the vans and goes with the word bag. Also the two kind of shows because obviously that yellow off white belt has been trending massively recently, shows that he kind of showed the trend beforehand with the places and faces belt. Overall nothing bad to say about this outfit, it's so so clean. So for outfit number three from Harrison Neville, I tried to find something with more vibrant colours to match the yellow hoodie but I really couldn't, so I went for something wearing vans the same as like the Unknown Blasian, plain pair of jeans and then a hoodie as well. So for this outfit from Harrison Neville, he's wearing this green or khaki green hoodie from Other UK. The jeans are from Minimal LA and then on the feet he has got the Vans X Fear of God Authentics. This outfit is actually really clean as well, I like how the colour combinates. The Fear of God Vans are so so nice. The jeans are perfect, just a simple knee blast, goes, the colours match perfectly with the shoes. Unfortunately I think he could have chosen a better colour hoodie, I think beige would have complemented this better because the shoes, the vans are kind of like a creamy instead of like an off-white. I think that would have complemented well with a beige hoodie instead of a khaki green. So for outfit number three, once again it's going to have to go to the unknown blade. So finally we're going to the fourth and final outfit. So the outfit from Unknown Blasian, he's got these black pair of sunglasses on, I'm sure on the brand. He's got this white long sleeve Balenciaga t-shirt, it's a really really good fit. He's got the black and yellow edge to bag, the Unknown Blasian absolutely loves his bags. Then he's got a pair of camo cargo pants on, and then he's got, I think it's his Rico and Booth, but I'm unsure because I can't really tell from the details, but a black pair of boots. So now coming to the reason why I like this outfit. First of all, the Balenciaga t-shirt fit is so nice. Then I love how the black sunglasses complement well with the black bag and the black boots. I like the subtle detail of the yellow edge that you can see it stands out massively. And the camo pants, not really my style, not really my fit, but they actually really, really suit him and go well with like the layering aspect with his boots, they overhang it, which I really like. And I think overall it's a really clean fit. So now I'll come into Harrison's fourth and final outfit. I tried to find something similar, but it was once again so hard because their styles are really, really different. I went with someone for the easy colourway once again, white the same as Unknown Blasian. So for this final, fourth and final outfit, he's got the guest t-shirt, not the guest and ASAP Ron, just the guest normal t-shirt with the red triangle. He's got a pair of minimal LA jeans with a few paint splatters near the bottom and he's got the white Yeezy Zebra V2s. So the reason why I like Harrison's outfit, once again, maybe I'm being a bit biased because as you can see I'm wearing the Guess ASAP Rocky t-shirt. The Guess t-shirt, the minimal red of the triangle complements well with the minimal red Supply 350 on the Yeezy Zebras. Obviously the black and white goes with the Yeezy Zebras once again and I think he chose the perfect pair of jeans, the light blue jeans would be better than black and a little minute bit of paint splats white complements the rest of it. So for this outfit, I mean this one you may think I'm biased because I'm wearing a Guess X ASAP t-shirt. This one is going to go to go to Harris and Neville, this one relates more my style. I'm not a big fan, to be honest, I think the Yeezy Zebras are the worst Yeezy V2s out of them all, but that's my personal opinion. So overall it's a 2-2 between the two of them. So as you can see the video has ended at 2-2 and it's a tie. But as you can tell it's an outfit battle so I can't end it as a draw because that would just be boring. So now I've got a result to their overall style, overall videos, all of their outfits all combined together and I'm going to choose a winner for my own personal view. So no offence taken to the loser, it's just my personal opinion. So the overall winner for this outfit battle is going to have to go to the Unknown Blazer. The reason why it's going to the Unknown Blazion is basically I love how he mixes up his style a lot, he uses a variety of different like trousers, materials, pants, mixes up his brands, he uses high designer ones now such as like Balenciaga or Rick Owens. He doesn't show off the branding like it doesn't stand, you couldn't tell like that long sleeve t-shirt was Balenciaga, so he doesn't like obviously like show like height clothes. And also he just like mixes up colours, mixes up style, like he's, I'd say his style's like different from the ordinary person. No offence taken to Harris Neville, I absolutely love his outfits. I think I dress like him more. I think maybe because it might be the weather, his outfits are more simplistic than Unknown Blasian, but this is from my personal opinion. I love them both. I'll leave the link for both their channels in the description box below, so please make sure to go check them out. Overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I post two men's fashion videos every single week, one midweek and one every single Sunday. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more of this, and leave other YouTubers or celebrities in the description box below and I'll do another one of these outfit battles. Overall, have a nice day, go check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one.
what you won't do.